Today's challenge is the following. I want to measure the mass of this block. However, uh, the scale I have here was not made to measure the mass of blocks. It was actually made to measure the mass of babies. So when I put my block on it, I only get the result with one decimal, meaning in this case with one significant figure. So what do we do now if I want to measure this with a higher precision? Welcome to Playroom Physics, where I'm going to use the toys in the playroom to explain some physics problems. So what do we do now if I want to measure this with a higher precision? I know some of you might now say, well, let's go get a scale with higher precision. I could totally do that, spend some significant amount of money and uh, get a better scale. But what if I was to tell you that there's another way of doing that without spending a single dollar? If you now think that I'm going to open the scale, uh, play with it real quick, uh, play with its programming, you're wrong again. There's a much simpler way of doing so. The simple solution to increase the precision of a measurement is to change the measurement method. In this case, I'm going to use a method that's called grouping. What this means is instead of one block, I'm actually going to measure 10 blocks at once. And what we see now is that the scale shows us two decimals for the mass of the 10 blocks, so with two significant uh, figures which is a much higher precision than before. All I have to do now is divide that result by 10 and I get the average mass of the block as 0.043 kilograms per block. 